got the Knight Riders locking horns with the Vipers hissing and spitting as Colin Munro and his team. I don't think we'll see a significant amount of swing. Colin Munro. First, I was up in Dubai for an evening match as well. Hales has got a, a score of 20 and an 11, I think. Here we go. And here it is, that little slide on. And don't look for turn, not against this fellow with a new seed. Not there. Oh, and he beats fine leg. It's that little bit of bottom hand, that whippage from Munro in the first boundary here this afternoon. In a one over spell. That should be very easily caught. Catch taken, David Willey, the fielder. There were a number of deliveries, and he can't get off the mark. And that's the frustration, the, the little bit of pressure building on. Star quality, wanting to score quickly, know what he's capable of. And he can't get going here on a Saturday afternoon. And with a bottom hand, action. And it's gone all the way, in fact. Colin Munro with the first maximum of this afternoon. So the over goes for 14, and the Vipers zip along to 24 for one here. Oh, beautiful. Flight, deception, comfortable stumping, and a very warm welcome. And good afternoon, Wakai Yunus. Good afternoon, Dooley. Good to be here. delivery. Very slow in the air and, and allowed the ball to spin. Searching for it, just... Wasn't really close to the pitch of the ball. Drives through the offside, not perfectly timed, but it should be good enough to pick up four. Sky 247.net four. To get another wicket here. Takes it on this time. And he's got plenty of it as well. As Hasaranga has gone all the way for six more to end the power play. Six done, 41 for two. One's gone straight up to cover and taken comfortably. So uh, Hasaranga's innings, it's brief. It's only 14, and Russell has got his second wicket of the tournament. Wipers not helping themselves. He wanted to over, move away and, and go over mid-off because the ball swung away a little and a little bit extra bounce. Got the toe end of the bat. He's watching that, he's looking that. He's not happy with the stroke. But Russell is really, really... Excited and happy. This was a slow delivery yes. only. Clubbered. Wide of long on. Azam Khan is a no-nonsense batter. He doesn't take long to get into stride. Yeah, and that's exactly why Azam Khan is such a dangerous player in T20 cricket. And as you said, no-nonsense player. Doesn't take any hostages. If it's there in his zone... He will give it a wallop. We spoke about him being effective. Have a look at that. Outstanding from the skipper. Just flighted a little bit more. That's a knuckle ball. So a little bit slower. Yeah, he's upset, very upset, and quite rightly so, because he was ending a near-perfect spell of four. Found the gap once more, and it will be another boundary, so... Sunil Narayan taking a little bit of a beating here, 15 runs from the over after 12.90 for four. From Sunil Narayan. Oh, is there a little nick? Yes, there is! Merchant Delanga into the side for match 10. Is swinging, there's a little bit of grass on the pitch, full length, good seam position, and uh, asking uh, Shadab to drive at it. Uh, because of tumbling here, wipers are struggling into the. Watching David Willey. Watching David Willey disappear, is he? Not quite. Just enough. One bounce and over the rope, but a good strike from Shafane Rutherford. And Monroe with a little uppercut. Even though it's under the breeze, he gets a 50, and it is his 63rd half century to go with his five tons in T20 for Colin Monroe. Got now. 
Oh, it's off the pad. He'll feel unlucky, Munro, but it's a Yorker link. He wants to shut down the leverage from the batter, and it's off the pad, and it's the end of the captain. Bring it out there. You will have success. And uh, with that slingy action, right there on the on the legs, yes, a little lucky, got the a bit of bad onto onto the bat, but the delivery and they will finish. Two to go. Chance and a very, very good catch that is as well. That is a uh, contender perhaps for the Cycle Hub bike. Never easy when you're going to run forward and dive. I've got to say, it was quite flat. Well, that's just a fabulous catch. Oh, just over top of short third. Down to the boundary for four, much needed. Clever, just over top. That's what we are talking about last over. Managed to find it and picks up a much needed boundary. He does and bowls it well. Got to go back for two, got to go back for two. Oh, come to Shaheen's ah! end and he might be out, he might be short. It was a good dive. Well, you will hear from Paul Wilson. Okay, thank you, Freezer. There, I've got my decision for the big screen. But yeah, he's a gonzo. He's got to walk back. Did the right thing, though. Let's see with the Yorker. Well, this was the wicket, though. Ah, Freezer, doing the right thing, trying to keep strike. Yeah, but just falling short. Well, it's a brilliant finish from uh, Ali Khan and a really good bowling performance from the Abu Dhabi Knight Riders. Afternoon contest here at Zayed Cricket Stadium. 155 runs required to win for the Abu Dhabi Knight Riders here at home up against the Vipers back after a break. Badly need an early wicket. Little bit of inward movement as expected. Just a pinch of the bat. There was a finger, there was a finger. Was the non-striker out of his ground? Mohamed Amir thinks he's got one. Okay, yeah, it's touched his hand on the way through onto the stumps. So I've got my decision ready for the big screen with clear evidence of Clark being short of his ground and contact being made with the fingers from Ahmed Amir. Number three. Crispy looking shot behind point. Vertical bat shown. And that will do house. A whole lot of good for his confidence. The order right now. Runs. Nicely timed. And four. That's a fine stroke from House. Capitals. Was an outside edge. The umpire agrees. And there is that wicket. The second one now for the Vipers. I was really surprised that... Uh, Amir taking the slip out in the first two deliveries of this over. He swung the ball away from the right hand. Strongly, a little tickle. It's all about bowling at the right length. And this was perfect. Even in the first inning, we saw balls swinging around and, and things were tough. Slip and play. And he caresses this one through that cover point region. Continues the form we saw from him in that game against the Capitals. Oh, hello. And there is that vacant third coming into play. One bounce, four more needed for the Knight Riders. What a belting. <laughs> All gone. Surely gone. Thank you very much. A little wrong one. Hasaranga picks one up. Oh, yes. And... Uh, right when they wanted one this one just skids on is it yeah it'll hinder a wrong one 
Samuel, you've got to hit those, buddy. <laughs> got to get a bit of wood on that. And didn't. Came set. Oh, that struck well, though. Much needed six. That's massive. Oh, it could be a contender for the DP World. Biggest six of the match. Six of the match. There will be a cricket kit donated. It's such a wonderful initiative by DP World. I can think it's more of an opportunity. That is unacceptable. Adam Hose with the fumble and concedes a boundary. Mal Mills. That sounded good and long enough to go for half a dozen. Good stroke to start the over. Neymar dancing down the track. And yeah, what was really good about that shot was the placement straight. One offside. Wonderful use of the feet. And that's an exquisite cover drive. Hitting with the turn as a lefty, but that doesn't matter. His partner is doing the business. So clay intent being shown, consecutive boundaries, and pressure now for Sharab Khan and the Vipers. Only three deliveries bold. Shadab will be under pressure for the remaining three. You've got to try and make this a 20 run over if you can. He goes again. That's even better. Gone all the way for six. Andrew Russell is enjoying it, brings up the 50 partnership. Just a shimmy down the track. It's gone flat and it's gone far. 18 for Mohamed Amir. Carved away over extra cover. A maiden T20 half century for Ali, Sh Ali Shan Charafu. Terrific innings. That'll feel pretty good. Uh, looked a very complete player. This one away in front of point. And that is uh, another fine boundary for Sharafu. Carved away for four more. 15 from the Shaheen over. And at the end of 14, the Knight Riders won 11 for three. It's over. Job should almost be done. Oh, he's taking a risk. He's taking a risk and he's hold out. Straight to Shafane Rutherford. Didn't expect that from Ahmad, but uh, Asaranga has picked up a wicket. Playing this sort of short, especially when you have fielders right on the boundary. The ball was too close to play that short. Comfortable catch there for uh, Rutherford at deep mid-on. And he's, he's definitely gutted, he's uh, unhappy. Hit hard, over extra cover, way to the boundary for four more. Picked it, picked the slower ball, hit it straight down the ground for four more. Great use of the feet. It's down over third. Six more. That is brilliant from Sharafu. I don't think the stats are right. Using the pace previously, he knew it was a slower one coming, and this one. He had a fair idea what the bowler was going to do. He's playing with his mind. What an inning. Make that 25. Make that 25 off the over. Thank you very much, Dre Russ. Yeah. Do it. He heard you, Rowan G. Here's a sixer of note from Superman. Yeah, this is what's needed from the Knight Riders' point of view. The Abu Dhabi Knight Riders. Stand here. Oh, gorgeous way to finish the over. What a great effort. There it is. Fetch that into next week. Trey Russ, it is out of here. And a stunning way to finish the game, and rightly so, when you've got Andre Russell in your lineup. He finishes with 24 not out, with three maximums. But the star of the show, 